Let's get over Casey and Megan one more time. That was so funny. Okay, hi. I'm Megan Brennan. I know what you guys are all thinking. Megan, normally I wouldn't be attracted to you. <laughs> but tonight you seem really doable. <laughs> why is that? I'll tell you why. I'm having sex on a regular basis and I'm glowing! Oh, oh! It's with a woman! Pew, pew, pew! I am, I'm dating somebody, I'm dating a woman uh, for the first time in a very long time I've had like uh, in a relationship. Um, and, uh, and I found out that she's a gold star lesbian. Uh, clap if you know what a gold star lesbian is. Yeah. I just, I just found out what it was. So for those of you who don't know, <laughs> Uh, a gold star lesbian is a woman who's never had sex with a man, and, uh, and my girlfriend, it, uh, her first kiss was with a girl, which blew my little Catholic brain that that was even an option. Um, and uh, yeah, so I'm like, I'm dating this gold star lesbian. Um, I'm more of a see me after class lesbian. Um, <laughs> Uh, I, uh, I slept with a lot of guys. I slept with a lot of dudes before finding out what I liked. Uh, <laughs> um, I, um, and the, during, one week during the time when I was only sleeping with men, um, I slept with two different guys and uh, their names were Chip and Dale. <laughs> it's a true story. I was like, take a break. Take a step back. Take a step back before you fuck a dude named Daffy. Uh, <laughs> Give yourself a break. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, so so I'm dating this uh, this girl. Um, I came out like a like a year and a half ago. Uh, yeah, feeling good. Um, you know, I start. I felt like it started because I started watching porn. Uh, um, I do. I like porn. I really like porn. Uh, but like, what I hate is porn sites. Um, like, porn is great, and I like really boring porn, but in order for me to find my insanely boring porn, I have to search the most detailed input into the porn site hub, is that how you phrase it? Uh, well, like, for me to just find boring porn, this is what I have to search. All right, find me some. Two consenting <laughs> adult women who are not related <laughs> give each other oily massages <laughs> in a clean facility. <laughs> but still, like. The, the first video that pops up is like, stepdaughter, teen, fucks, dad. I was like, no! <laughs> I don't want to know that even exists. Just give me two women rubbing on each other. God. Oh, my God. The first time I slept with a woman, uh, uh, this wasn't that long ago, um, but... For, um, so, you know, I started dating somebody, and we decided to sleep together, and... Uh, and we did, and then the next morning, and it was probably okay on her end, and I felt great, um, but like the next morning, I wake up to two missed calls from my mom, um, and I was like, uh-oh, mama bear calling early on a Saturday, uh, and uh, I call her back, <laughs> and she goes, uh, and she tells me that she was on her way to the vet to put down our childhood dog. And I was like, don't read into it. <laughs> They're not related. <laughs> Just because you had sex with a woman doesn't mean your dog had to die. <laughs> okay, this is, this is true too. The next, uh, that same day, so that same day that my dog was put down, the woman I slept with has a cat and we had to go to the vet for her cat two hours after I found out my dog died. 
and we found out her cat had cancer and had to be put down within the week. <laughs> what is happening? So, small recap, me and this woman fuck, and then a bunch of animals died. <laughs> And it's like, oh wait, we have a lot of power here, you know? We, we should do some bad with this. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, so I volunteer a lot. Uh, uh, smooth segue. Uh, so I volunteer a lot. Um, I volunteer uh, at a, a woman's home, uh, or a home where mentally challenged women live. Um, and we go in, like, once a month we go in there and we play uh, games and do arts and crafts. And um, it's like really great because like they get to play bingo and I get to brag that I volunteer once a month. <laughs> um, I volunteer uh, probably because I, you know I was raised Catholic, so I had to. Uh, you know, original sin. We had to like just do good deeds um, according to my mom. Uh, um, but my mom is the worst. So, you know, she's like just the nicest. Uh, you just. She's just so kind. Um, she's, that, she's that person who like befriends every Looney Tune family member. And like, <laughs> she's like, Meg, everybody needs somebody, okay? Everybody needs a friend, Meg. And I'm like, why does it have to be you? Meanwhile, like my crazy Aunt Crystal is like doing coke in our backyard wearing like cargo shorts and a lace bra. True story. I denied that we were related. Uh, uh, she is so nice. My my mom is like genuinely kind-hearted. Uh, my dad is nice, but like in a different way because he just like wants everybody to like him, and uh, that's where that's what I, get, I come from. Uh, <laughs> like I want acceptance, so I act accordingly. Uh, I need people to like me, um, uh, uh, and so. My dad, my dad is this weird thing, though, with like the word. Um, so, so I have a, a mentally challenged brother. That's kind of probably the real reason why I volunteer with mentally challenged women, because I feel guilty being so far away from him. But, um, but Patrick's uh, pretty low functioning, and uh, and he um, uh, doesn't quite understand vocabulary or like you know language. Um, but my dad has this like weird thing about being allowed to use the word retard. And sometimes I really feel like he doubles down on it. Um, <laughs> like, like, there must have been some time where he made like a group of people laugh before he had his son, uh, where he like made them laugh saying retard, and now he's like, I'm allowed to. Uh, <laughs> he'll like, my, I'll like talk to my dad, and he goes like, if I wipe the ass of my 33-year-old son every day, I'm allowed to use the word retard. I was like, you? Psychopath! <laughs> you can't use it. It hurts people's feelings. Um, oh, he is. He drives me insane. I had to run that. I, I told him I was filming this, and I was like, uh, "I'm like, am I allowed to use that joke?" He's like, uh, "Meg, do whatever the hell you want." I was like, "Okay." <laughs> he sometimes seems like he's caring, and then he just wants to be a cynical old man. Um, uh, the worst part about volunteering, though, has to be being around other volunteers. Uh, <laughs> just the worst. So, we, uh, so this home, like all the women are very high functioning and uh, you know, they hold jobs and everything and, uh, and you know, can play all the games and do all the arts and crafts, you know, we're just kind of there to facilitate. And uh, uh, sh my, this, there was like a line out the door, you know, it was like, the first January in Trump's America. So there was like a line of volunteers to play arts and crafts for one hour, which is like literally the least you could do. Uh, and um, and uh, this, these two women came in and they were like being oh, so cheerful um, and it was irritating all the, all the ladies and um, and this uh, one woman, so, so there's a one woman who lives in the home, and her name is Priscilla, and she wears a wig cap, but I've never seen a wig. Um, 
And she's just like a badass. Like she is just like all sass, cl clicking her nails all the time, like on the table. She's so funny. And this woman comes into she. So Priscilla gets bingo, and this volunteer gets in her face. She's like, Priscilla. <laughs> Do you see what I see? Do you? <laughs> Guys, and Priscilla is just like giving her the death stare, like not answering. She's like, I think you know, but I'll say it. Priscilla got bingo, everybody! Yay, Priscilla! You got bingo! And Priscilla looks at her dead in the eyes and she goes, I know how to play and I can do it alone. <laughs> Just the best. That woman just like became a shell, just like stood back and like didn't interact for the rest of the time. And I loved it. I loved it. Women being put in their places. <laughs> just that woman, not all women. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, man, yeah. Just like, you know, a small lesson in life. You know, you don't have to talk down to everybody that you meet, uh, especially those who are mentally challenged. They are capable. Um, Man, who is ready for some superhuman improv?